Good morning, welcome to Jen Jiggles. Today is May 9th, 2019. Hi Kim, how are you? Um, this is just gonna be a quick one. Blossom, get out of that now. Now. No, no, no. <laughs> um, so how are you? Uh, how's your diet going? How's your exercise? Blah, blah, blah. Uh, I can't think of anything else. Diet, exercise, mood, happy, sad, indifferent. Still haven't emailed you, Kim. Really sorry. Uh, yeah, so I don't know if you can see this great big giant piece of stuff behind me. That goes over the top of the table all the way to the other side. And then down here, that is one pattern piece for the front of a top. That's got a sh shiitake full of pleats in. Yeah. That's going to be fun to cut out this morning. Yay, yay. Good girl, Blossom. Um, yeah, so what have I been up to? Shh, shh goodbye. <laughs> Trying really hard not to swear. Um, yeah, I got some knitting done. I'm nearly to the point where I had to turn a heel for those socks, which I didn't bring up because I'm an idiot. Um, yeah, so the big pattern piece on the back on the table is that. That one. That's the one. Um, I've been doing some cross stitching and I'll show you that probably, I don't know. I don't know if he's working from home tomorrow. If he is, then I'll show it to you on Monday. Um, so I'm getting that, that done. Sorry. A great, a lot of sleep. If you hear some music in the background, I put on classical music for pets off Amazon. Um, I now have one two three alexas in my house and one two three fire sticks it's as bad as apple because <laughs> uh, yeah i have an ipad iphone and he has an iphone um anyways didn't know why i got into that don't know oh because the music on alexa Sorry about it anyway in the background, but I'm too flippin' lazy to tell her to stop and Blossom likes to listen to it when she takes her nap. So, there you go. Anyway, um, Alexa, pause. There we go. Right, so yesterday I stuck to, I'm really, really proud of myself. Uh, I stuck to my diet, what I was supposed to be eating. Um... I didn't exercise yesterday, unfortunately. I did lay down because I'm still having those waking up at seven o'clock in the morning. Um, the local nurse, at, I called her yesterday. I never told Ian I called her yesterday because I didn't want to all get freaky out. But she says it's part of menopause and it shouldn't last more than six months, but just to deal with it. And I thought, okay, well, all right. Okay. <laughs> anyway, who did that? Okay. I think that's South Park. I think that is... Don't know. Not Kenny. Not Stan. Is it Carmen? Maybe. Anyway, so no exercise yesterday, but I did lose 1.2 pounds yesterday. So, off on and right back off doing feeling really positive about it don't I okay so just for a split second just now I let myself think about the fact that I gained that weight back which I'm trying not to do um I don't want to think about the fact that it yo-yoed so we won't talk about that anymore um hopefully I'll get some exercise today I have pattern pieces all ready to cut out I had my sewing machine up here yesterday oh no, I didn't do that yesterday. What did I do yesterday? What did I sew? Oh! There's a big blue mat up here. Up here. Oh, sorry, I got the same overalls on, but I couldn't be fucked this morning. Jane, there goes my not swearing thing. Um, so I made up this big blue ironing mat yesterday to put on top of my table when I want to just iron pattern pieces so I don't have to take the whole thing apart which was really handy dandy and worked fine this is old sheet from doha when we lived in the middle east 
So yeah, so got that. That was a good thing done. I was thinking about stitching it again and just making a crisscross in the middle. But it's kind of got a fold in it now. But anyway, there you go. Just so I don't warp anything or undo glue on the table or whatever. Yeah. Um, so yeah, so uh, what's up today? I've had a banana this morning. I didn't log my food yesterday because I completely forgot. Well, I did. Okay, back up. I did log breakfast and lunch, but I forgot to log my dinner. Um, we had um, eggs and bacon, toast, and a black pudding. Um, I only did one black pudding slice, well I should say. I didn't do it. Ian made dinner last night. Um, so yeah, so I don't know how many calories all that was, but yesterday for lunch I had tomato ham, mustard, lettuce, on thin bread, and 11 Doritos, because I counted them out because of the calories, and then I had a pear for dessert. I'm all out of fruit now. So probably when Ann says, what do you want me to get at the shops? And I'm gonna go, fruit, please. Um, yeah, so that's what I had for lunch, and then, um, and that, that's what I have for dinner and for breakfast. I just had a banana, a cup of coffee, and a cup of tea. And I'm having uh, another cup of tea this morning. Um, basically, what I did was I was on Pinterest. Like, I'm fucking always on Pinterest. And I love Pinterest so hard. Um, you can find anything on there. Anyway, um, and I found this recipe for this, like, low-fat, non-dairy creamer to make pumpkin spice creamer so <clears throat> I saved it to a board of recipes that I have and um I made it and it's really good and it actually tastes like pumpkin spice latte or a chai latte um when I mix it with tea so it's really nice. Um, I put a drop of milk in after. Not because the dairy creamer doesn't make it milky enough. But because um, it cools down my tea. Uh, what else is happening? Um, so exercise today. I think I'm going to do try the Leslie Sansoni 7 minute uh, walk. Uh, it's kind of a, a high intensity walk training thing. I'm going to try to do that today. Um... Yeah, so that will be my exercise for today. I've done normal housework. It's kind of boring, blah, blah, blah. I did dishes, picked up the lounge, knit eight more rounds on my sock, then did a measure and figured out this wool is very thin. That thin isn't cheap. It's the one I made those purple, gray, black socks out of. Hello? I keep hearing knocking noises in my house. It's really fucking weird. Um, so, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. So, I did my stitch count. And usually, after I do my decrease, I start counting. And I usually do 80 rows. And then I turn my heel. But I'm at 70 right now. and Or 75 right now. And there is no way in hell that after five more rows, I'm going to be able to turn a heel. Because the sock just is going to be too small. So... I'm going to do 10 more rows and then I'm going to turn the heel, do or die. Um, but yeah, they're coming out really well. I've, I should have brought them up. I'm really, really sorry. Um, you know what? I will pause this and I will go grab them. Okay. It's recording. Right. So, um, I'm using that premier yarn that I got from America where I got mad at the people because, hang on, because they stopped making it and I'm really mad at them. So this one's neon green. Hang on, let me wrap up the excess. But that's the green, which doesn't look green, looks blue. I uh, don't know why. Natural light, maybe? Move, blossom. Does it look green now? Looks greener. There we go, natural light. Anyway, that's not even as bright as the green is. The green's very, very bright. Hmm. 
There we go. And then right now, oops, I put the wrong one up. Right now I'm working on the orange. There you go. So what, basically what I'm doing is alternating skeins to come up with this. Now I have a pair of purple socks, if you remember right. And yeah, so they're my Halloween socks. Halloween. Halloween's coming in 117 days. Well, it's 117 days till autumn. Uh -huh. So it's January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, pumpkin, 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 December. <laughs> anyway, yeah, so that's what they look like. Those are them dar socks. I'm pretty pleased with them. I can, can say. So basically how I'm alternating these is because they're both drafted the same way. So it's color black, gray, modely gray, and then color again. Is I'm doing the model, the color, the black, and then I'm switching. When it switches to the model, I switch over to the next skein. And I go model, color, black. And switch again model color black model color black <clears throat> and that's how that is being worked so there you go halloween socks in may Ta -da! that's it very boring i didn't bring the cross stitch up because i've got one row a top row with four across and then another row going down with 69 stitches and then across and then i'm coming back up right now to finish the cross so not a lot to show there, but so that's what I did this morning. I may after I got my housework done, I knit on that, and then I cross stitched for about a half an hour, and that was that. And I don't know where the dog went, but oh, she's in her crate. Uh, yeah. So that's what's happening there. I'm going to get this, hopefully get this cut today. I mucked up, so now I have to remeasure the whole damn thing because I forgot that I I don't need all that bottom bit. I just need up to this, if you can see, which you can't really, but there's a line there that curves, and that's where I need it to. I don't need tether. So what I'm doing in order to save myself, and all I should have really done is just trace a pattern and cut it out because I've got tracing paper uh, now specifically for this, uh, but I don't think it would be wide enough for this piece is um i'm just here i'll show you on this one um basically what i did was i took this and yeah i know i can use my tracer wheel to do this but this is a little bit easier so what for me anyway so what i'm doing on this piece is i'm taking this see this is the line i'm talking about this curve um, i'm taking this and i'm folding it shaping it around and i will cut there I will cut I will shape it and then I will cut around it and that way I don't lose the length because there's a tunic in this pattern it is right here there at the bottom which I would like to make into a dress so I would have to lengthen that but I don't care but I don't want to lose that on the pattern so there you go um, so that's all the crafting. Uh, like I said, I'm going to do the seven minute walk, I think, today. And um, this weekend, I believe we're going to... Ian's going to his mom's and dad's on Saturday. Um, I'm not going. I really just want some quiet time to myself. He's taking the dog. And I'm staying home. Um, so I'm going to sew on Saturday, probably. And... Um, then sun, <clears throat> where were we going on Sunday? I think we're going up to Boundary Mill on Sunday. But we're going to put the picture hangers up so I can get all my pictures hung and my pictures from you, Kim, hung and, um, yeah, that's my washer. Uh, yeah, so that's pretty much what's going on. Um, <clears throat> it's raining out today, so and it's quite windy. So I got laundry in the washers. I'm just going to put it on the clothes bars 
inside and not hang it out. Blossom, stop, please. And, yeah. I talked to Ian, by the way. I talked to Ian yesterday about the, the, the kennel for Blossom, and he agreed. So he thought maybe there was a swap thing down at Pat's... Um, Pets at Home, I think the name of the place is or whatever. But, yeah, I don't know. Anyway, but we are going to ditch it. So, hopefully, you know, we'll get her a smaller kennel. This kennel's huge for her. I mean, like, way, like, probably twice as big as what she needs. So, yeah, we're going to, no. I'm going to get rid of it in that way. When I do have guests, I can actually move her into our bedroom and not, stumble over her in the night if I have to get up and use the bathroom. So anyway, not that you need to know that. Very boring. Uh, what's on the schedule for dinner tonight? Uh, tonight I am making jalapeno poppers, which I weighed this morning um, because I classified them as junk food. I looked on the back and it said 100 grams was 269 kcals. So here, kcals is the energy. And so I measured out 50 grams for each of us, which ended up being three each. And I'm doing chicken quesadillas, but I'm using the half the cheese that it calls for. And I don't know how many calories that'll be, but I have to measure it all because I haven't graded it yet or anything. Um, and I'm using the tomatoes that we have and the lettuce that I bought. Um, I don't have any refried greens, which is good because they're very caloric. And, um, we just have like wraps with that in. So, uh, yeah, that's what we're having for dinner. So we're gonna have three jalapeno poppers and a quesadilla for dinner tonight. That'll be dinner. There's dinner. So, yeah, I can't starve Ian because, you know, I'm on a diet. Hate that word, gotta hate that word. Um, but, yeah, but I don't need to overeat either and I love quesadillas and I'm going to miss my refried beans but probably not that much what are you doing kid hello do you want to come and say hello okay up you go say hello say hello <gasps> who's that is that blossom hello blossom hello um anyway yeah so that's dinner tonight um I'm not sure what I'm doing for lunch today it is very cold out and it is rainy, so something warm, maybe some soup. That would be nice. Oh, somebody needs a cuddle. Anyway, all right, I'm gonna get going. Hang on, I gotta find my thing here. Uh, I hope you're okay. Um, I hope the weather's better where you are than it is here. And I will talk to you on Monday, so stick to it. You can do it. Bye now. Bye, where's my mouse? Bye.